I'll show you how to use Sell Samurai to find your perfect niche for your print on demand business. Are you ready? Let's go. So I'm on Etsy.com and I am going to just click in the search bar here and I'm going to type in anything random. I guess I'll type in maybe t-shirts or let's be a little more specific and let me type in floral t-shirts. Okay. And as I type that in, Etsy is giving me suggestions. And apparently these are things that people have been typing in Etsy. This is what I've learned and what I've been told. So I have Sales Samurai and I have, I actually pay for it, but it also allows you to have a, um, a little plugin, so to speak. And I'm going to click on where it says 500 more over here on the right. And it's going to take me over to Sell Samurai. So I'm going to click on here. Now I'm on Sell Samurai and it's giving me some information. Now what I want to do, what it's doing right now is pulling up all the competition for anything that is related to floral t-shirts. But I want to uh, eliminate some of the competition. And so I'm going to start with telling Sales Samurai that I only want competition up to maybe 5,000 listings. Okay. Because if you're a new seller, you want to find keywords or niches that have much less competition. All right. So now I'm going to hit filter and you can see it's starting to filter things out here. And if I continue to hit filter as it fills up, it's going to get rid of some of the larger numbers. So I'm just hitting filter. And as you can see, um, it's still filtering out. Now, another way that I can lessen the competition, let's say I want to make sure that anything that I am competing against, I only want to look for things that have the word floral in it. Okay. So under here, I'm typing must contain floral. So when I hit filter, it's going to filter them out even more. And you can see it filtered out of 500. It filtered it down to what, how many is this? Eight. All right. And still some of those are over 5,000, but let's hit filter again. And it's going to come to this one. So that lets you know that this is a a good niche that we might want to look into. So bachelorette t-shirts floral. So I'm going to right click on this long tail keyword bachelorette t-shirts floral. And we are going to open this in a new tab so that we can take a look in Etsy. All right, my creators. So if you remember, Sale Samurai told us that the competition for this particular niche keyword bachelorette t-shirts floral was less than 5,000. And if I recall, I think it was 3,043. So that's a really good number. So now we can just kind of start searching on Etsy, seeing what's selling. So I like to click here and I like to choose either top reviews or newest. Top reviews will obviously let us know which sellers got the top reviews and newest will show us the newest listings or what was newly sold on Etsy. So let's click on top reviews and let's just kind of scroll down and I'm going to make this a little larger so that you can um, see some things that I'm going to point out to you. So I'm scrolling down and we are looking at this by top reviews. And when we go down, we see that it has a lot of, um, in parentheses, it shows the number of reviews that a store has gotten or a seller has gotten. So this is really good. The ones at the top are usually ads. So I don't want to click on any ads because I'm not intending on buying this, these. So I don't want to, um, cause anyone to spend money. So let's just scroll down. This has 311. This has 21,000 reviews, 3.6,000. 817. So they're all really uh, great numbers for reviews. So as we keep going down, we're looking for floral. This is floral. This has floral. This has floral. So they're all really nice t-shirts. And I'm going to show you how you can design t-shirts 
like this. Okay. So let's get back to the video, but I just wanted to show you how to use sale samurai. So take a look at some of these t-shirts and uh, they're very simple, very easy to use. So we're going to make these t-shirts. All right, my creator. So I'm on canva.com and I just created a new design from the home page. And I made the design as the workspace as 4494 by 5093. And that's in pixel size. Okay. I did that because I'm going to upload this design to Printify to a particular t shirt. It's the unisex jersey short sleeve v-neck t-shirt and i already know that that requires the design to be made into this size okay 4494 by 5093 pixels all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to go over to elements because remember we're making a floral bachelorette t-shirt all right so let's take another quick look on etsy just so we can recollect what these t-shirts look like that are selling. All right, my creator. So I'm on canva.com and I just created a new design from the home page. And I made the design as the workspace as 4494 by 5093. And that's in pixel size. Okay. I did that because I'm going to upload this design to Printify to a particular t-shirt. It's the unisex Jersey short sleeve V-neck t-shirt. And I already know that that requires the design to be made into this size. Okay. 4494 by 5093 pixels. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to elements because remember we're making a floral bachelorette t-shirt. All right. So let's take another quick look on Etsy just so we can recollect what these t-shirts look like that are selling. All right, my creator. So I'm on canva.com and I just created a new design from the home page. All right, we're back over on Etsy just to take a quick look, but this time I'm going to sort it by newest because I want to see um, what has sold recently. And like I said, I don't want to click on the first row because these are ads. I don't want to make anybody pay. Um, but these are, see this? This is cute, very cute. Um, scroll down some. This is floral. All of these are selling really, really well. So that could be a very nice um, niche to get into. This is a bridesmaid and maid of honor. I don't know why this is on here. I don't see anything floral on here at all or that. But these are all very nice. So I just wanted to take another quick look to see what was selling. So we're going to make something uh, very cute. All right, so let's get back over to Canva. All right, we're back over on Etsy just to take a quick look, but this time I'm gonna sort it by newest because I wanna see um, what has sold recently. And like I said, I don't wanna click on the first row because these are ads, I don't want to make anybody pay. Um, but these are, see this, this is cute, very cute. Um, scroll down some, this is floral. All of these are selling really, really well. So that could be a very nice um, niche to get into. This is a bridesmaid and maid of honor. I don't know why this is on here. I don't see anything floral on here at all or that. But these are all very nice. So I just wanted to take another quick look to see what was selling. So we're going to make something uh, very cute. All right. So let's get back over to Canva. All right. We're back over on Etsy just to take a quick look, but this time I'm going to sort it by newest because I want to see um, what has sold recently. Okay. So on the left-hand side, I'm on the elements tab right here and I'm going to click in, I'm not clicking. I'm sorry. I'm going to type in flowers and let's just see what comes up. We've got a lot of things that we could use. 
Uh, I'm going to click on see all under graphics right here. A lot of pretty stuff. We just have to decide which one we want to use. All right, so let's choose this one. Let's see if we can work with this. And by the way, I do have the pro subscription. So some of these uh, elements and features are only available if you have a pro subscription. So this is nice. However, I'm going to change the background page because I don't think this white area all across here is um, is transparent and I want to see if it is or not. So let me change the color of the page. Oh, it is transparent. That's great. Okay. So now we'll just undo this because I just want to type something in here. So let me go over to text now on the left hand side and let's click on add a heading and that will pop over onto the page which it did and i don't like i don't want this text so i'm going to click in the text box and let's see if anything comes up under the word skinny because i want a skinny text okay nothing comes up under skinny so we're just going to find something that is kind of like um you know, like a bridal type of font, something script like writing. So let me um, close out of this, click back in here. Oh, why did it do that? What am I doing? Textiles, font. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to scroll down and find something that is script like that would be appropriate for. Um, bridal. I think this is pretty. Now, some of these fonts are uploaded and you also have to have a Canva Pro subscription in order to use um, the feature to upload a font as well. So I'm going to type something. Uh, let's bride pride. Now I've seen bride tried, but I've not seen bride pride. So let me make this larger and we're going to change the color. Let's make the color maybe this gold. Would that work? No, wait. Hold on, guys. Go back in here. Click on the font color. And if you look over on the left, Canva is really good because it brings in the colors of the photos that you have on the page. So you can see that it is, um, it has brought in this photo, which is the flowers that we're using. So I'm going to change the color of the text to maybe this purple that's in there or the gold. Okay. Let's try gold. All right. So remember the ones we saw were very simple. So we can keep it really like this. If you want to add something, you can. Um, guys who have been following me, you know that I love my gold. So let me see if I can find a very slight hint of gold to add onto here. No, I think that's too much for this. So we'll just leave it like that. All right, so we have our design. Now what we wanna do, we wanna click on share. You wanna go to download and you want to increase the resolution. So we're gonna change the size. We're gonna move this dial up to maybe like 2.75. We're gonna make sure it's a transparent background and we are now going to click download. So once we click download, Canva is showing us on the bottom that it is downloading our file. So we're going to take this file and we're going to upload this into Printify. Okay, my creators, we are on Printify.com. It's easy to sign up. If you don't have an account, just go to Printify.com, create an account, and you can um, associate your Etsy account to your Printify account where you can start uploading your designs 
from Printify into Etsy. So remember I told you that I made the print area workspace size on Canva 4494 by 5093 pixels because I knew that this particular t-shirt we required that for the um, print area. So now I am just going to click over here on upload and I'm going to upload um, the file that we just downloaded from Canva. Okay, so Printify is uploading the file and it doesn't take very long. But while it's doing that, I just want to point out to you, you see this black box, this dotted line? This is where the uh, your design will appear. Okay, so anything outside of that design or outside of those lines will not appear on your t-shirt. Okay, so this looks really good. So we can move this up some if we like. Okay, there we go. So now let's click back on here. And it says the resolution is very high. Look at this, guys. See where I'm pointing on the right side? 825 DPI. So that's huge. Very huge. That means your design will be perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now let's click on preview. Well, first of all, let's choose the colors. Okay. So let's, let's uh, select some variants. So we have white. What other color should we use? They only have, let's see, how would it look on royal blue? That's pretty. And how would it look on black? That's pretty as well. And let's do an athletic Heather. That doesn't look so good. So let's just do these three colors, the royal blue, the blue, I mean the black and the white. Okay. So now we're going to click on preview. And right now it's showing us the white. I love this. Very cute. Now let's click on black and it's showing us the black. I love that. And now let's click on the blue and it's showing us the blue. I think the blue is my favorite. I love these. So these are mock-ups that if you have Printify as your print-on-demand choice, these items or these um, images would be saved to your Etsy store once you connect your Etsy store. You can also right-click on them and you can save the images as well. So just wanted to show you that, but the, I'm very pleased with this. It's really cute. And let's look back at Etsy and see some of those designs and you can see how cute our design is. So if you look on Etsy, you can see that our design is just as cute, just as adorable as some of these designs, even more so. Look at this. This just has some plain flowers on it and they have 8.2 thousand reviews. So that's just to let you know, you don't have to put a whole lot into it, which is good for those of you who may say, I'm just not a great, you know, graphic designer. You don't have to be. If you can type on the keyboard, and you know use text in canva then you are good to go but just want to show you that our design looks just as pretty maybe even better than some of these designs well that's it for this video but i want to remind you creators be sure that you take advantage of social media make sure that you let people know that you are open for business start your shop start it now those dollars can come rolling in, but it all depends on you. So let's get started now. All right, my creators, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. As always, I want you to have a beautiful, creative day. And remember, the more we create, the less we hate. And I will see you in the next video.